welcome Capricorn we'll be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using soul truth seven energies and energy oracle okay let's get into it let's get into it okay let's start with soul truth here Capricorn three cards for Capricorn please okay let me pick this up okay Capricorn the first one is what is my body telling me right now second one is on whom am I placing blame right now and third one is what can I do to make a difference okay so let's have a look what is my body telling me right now our body speaks to us through physical pain or discomfort our body sends messages for us to look more deeply see the trapped emotions the lurking fears and beliefs that limit you. Listen to your physical body and you will lead, you will be led to the source of your pain. It's time to get your healing on. Okay, so the action to take here is get the book Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and find the answers to which your body is guiding you. Yeah, I was that's so funny because as I was reading that, I was thinking about her book. In fact, I was just looking at it this morning. It's really good because um, there's, you know, it's a great book to read, but also there's a list of ailments and what um, emotions or thoughts may be contributing to that and then affirmations to say to counteract those emotions or thoughts. Okay, so yeah, but have a, let's have a look further at this for you. Okay, so we've got here goddess of the moon and contract and um with the goddess of the moon i feel like there's things that aren't known to you you know and maybe it is about how it is that our mind and body are connected um the other thing i want to say here capricorn is talk to yourselves talk to the cells in your body you know your body is so um is hearing everything that is going on for you so in that regard, you know, visualize also yourselves working at their optimal, to their optimal ability, right? See, machine, this is your body, is a machine, right? So what's not working? There's something not working in it. And when something, oh, sorry, I shouldn't say it's not working. It might not be working to the best of its ability, um, especially if you're in pain or there's something that's going on for you physically um, that you know that you can look at. So things that are hidden um, that aren't clear for you. Okay. Um, into me I see. Perfect. That is perfect. It is. It's this ability to see into you. Right. We are the best... Um, we like a walking Bible of ourselves, right? We know ourselves better than anybody. Yeah, so it's really important to start um, connecting. Connecting in with you, okay? Contract. This is, I feel like, getting things into balance here. And potentially even making a contract with your, your um, mind and body right to come into alignment to start working together in a positive way um i don't want those cards i want this card here um tell me more about contract babe capricorn here we go okay wow wow great and full and great big love <laughs> look at this you know Capricorn I feel like this really is about you this focus is on you whatever else is going on in your life around you to do with other people to do with work um family whatever first and foremost come back to you always because if these things are things that aren't working the best um that are causing you grief that are you know giving you sort of this bodily reaction um that it's really important for you to go, okay, I have to start here. 
I have to start with me, right? I have to fill up my cup, right? Great and full, grateful, right? What are you grateful for in your life? You know, for some of you, your cup could feel really empty right now. Perfect. How do you see that, you know? This is the thing, right? How do you see that? Do you see that as, oh, my cup's empty, like there's nothing in it? Or do you see that as great? I can, I've got this empty cup that I can now fill up with all these new things, yeah? Um, yeah, I I just really feel like this. there's this great big love that can be put into this cup here, right? Um, and this is the thing. In order to have everything that we want, if our health is not up to scratch, then everything else is it's secondary to our health. Because if we had, say, heaps of money or the best job in the world or the best relationship or um, heaps of friends or whatever, all that without having optimal health, can't be experienced to its fullest if our health is not at its peak, okay? So this is about you focusing on you here, okay? On whom am I placing the blame right now? A person who blames others has not begun, begun their lesson. A person who blames themselves has begun their lesson. A person who blames no one has finished their lesson. Love it. Okay, the action to take here, take responsibility. On whom are you placing blame right now? Today, free yourself by re releasing all victimhood, blame and resistance. They don't belong where you are going. Exactly, right? All that does not belong here. Hey, you can't have, you can't be sitting in that blame victim mode and be here at the same time. It's not, it's not a match, right? Only love and courage live there. Make a choice to do it. Even if you don't re don't feel ready. I'm sorry, that was totally butchered, but you got it. Um, listen to your heart. You will be led. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's have a look further into this. Tell me more about placing blame for Capricorn, please. Tell me more about this. Do I want that one? No, I don't. Oh, there's two cards here. Excellent. Okay. So the first card that I'm seeing here is strategy. To come up with a strategy, right? Every time you find yourself blaming or pointing the finger or blaming yourself, whatever, what is it that I can do to get to this place of not blaming anyone? You know, what do I need to release? What do I need to work through? You know, um, so that you can actually do that. Yeah. Um, this has got journal log on it. So maybe start journaling your feelings and emotions. That might also be a good way to get them out and release them. Um Sometimes it's good to burn the piece of paper that you've written on if it's a really heavy energy. Um, yeah. Tell me more about strategy, though, for Capricorn. One more card for strategy. There we go. Okay, so we've got exposed and revealed. Yeah, this is really looking into things, right? Exposing and revealing what it is that is underlying issue about this blame because there's so much more to it you know I look thinking just personally you know if I'm blaming someone else it's because I'm feeling something yeah I'm feeling something that I need to look at that I need to take responsibility for it doesn't mean that you're responsible for other people's actions and what they choose to do um it just means that you are taking responsibility for what it is for, for the healing of that, you know, and, and your um, reaction or, you know, whatever it is that has gone on for you about that particular thing, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And being really honest with yourself. We have a tall tale here. 
and this you know is um i'm just wondering here if there's been a situation in your life where there's been people who haven't been honest and um and this is where this is all come in you know the lack of honesty um There could, or this is interesting actually, number 21 and number 21 have come on top of each other. I don't know why that's jumped out at me, but it might mean something to someone. Anyhow, this lack of honesty, uh, there could also be something that you're holding inside. Um, not necessarily that it is to do with dishonesty, but there could be stuff that you're suppressing, which is now in turn um expressing itself through your body mm. and i feel like a tall tale even just sitting there when people are like oh are you all right and it's like yeah i'm fine i'm good and you know things aren't good because it sometimes can be a little bit like where do i even start with it you know how do i even begin don't even know where to begin you know so um it's about being honest with yourself and even if there are people around you who have deceived you being honest about that and how you feel you know yeah so yeah blossoming abundance yeah see this here i feel like is along the line of these cards here very very contrasting it's sort of like you know what i feel like capricorn it's like this choice this choice of going down this path or this path what do you want to choose here in order to walk down this path of this abundance, this blossoming abundance, there's stuff that you need to release because that can't come with you, right? It cannot. Okay, so let's have a look here. A grand symphony. Yep. See, this is, I feel like actually this is your body, your body playing this tune, right? Um this grand symphony and this is what you know with, with the machine coming up yeah it's a machine everything works together in conjunction with one another right you can't have a grand symphony if you haven't got every piece of the orchestra there um, adding to this symphony yeah and it's the same with the time machine right time machine i saw the machine right when we we're talking about the body but this is it okay so time machine now I love that. I love that. Now we're going on a different journey with it. Right, back in time, I feel. Back in time. Yeah, what is you want what is it that you want to create in your future here? Right? This blossoming abundance. And what is it that needs to be released from the past? So that you can actually start taking action in the now to go forth into this abundant future that you want to create. Yeah. We've got the power of purpose, right? Have that purpose down. Write down your goals. Write down your purpose. Write down where you want to go so that you can aim towards that, yeah? So you can hit the bullseye on that. Because the fact of the matter is, is that's what you deserve. And um, and it's up to you to make that happen, yeah? Okay, so what can I do to make a difference? Yeah. What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it? such that every ounce of you screams no more where can you create purpose out of pain the action to take make a difference in someone's life today big or small because all of it makes a difference yep it sure does it sure does okay so it has that ripple effect you know and then you know, when you do something nice for someone, they do something nice for someone, you know. So, yeah. Tell me more about this, though. Tell me more about Make a Difference for Capricorn, please. What else? What else? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. So a man holding a heart, 
you like this guy here it's like just this sort of casual holding of the heart exposed like he has the confidence that the heart can't be hurt it's really interesting this energy really interesting he's got this look on his eyes of conviction of like no no more just like the card seeds no more right and i feel like that's that energy that can be taken on yeah okay so tell me more about man holding a heart for capricorn please mm -mm -mm. one of these cards up okay so we have wish upon a star look at this this little one holding the star on the heart right really putting your heart out there to go this is what i truly want and wishing upon that star i love that to manifest that right opening to discovery unlocking yourself to the discovery look that's both got the twinkling of the stars here right being open being open to discover things that you haven't been you haven't discovered before and that's a matter of right exposing and revealing yourself to the world in a sense yeah okay we have the seventh chakra archangel uriel here and so this i feel like is this um sort of this connection i feel here yeah. connection see let it go any hurts like work through those do what you need to do anything that needs to be let go of that has impacted your heart let go of that do the work that you need to do and make your wishes right because they're there and get excited to discover what those you know that those can come into your life now right okay and then we have birds of a feather and this is um letting go so that you can attract um the the people who are your people into your life okay because they are there waiting for you to get into alignment so that you are a vibrational match to them okay which you actually are you're already that vibrational match there's just all this debris around you from what has transpired up till this point needs to be cleared away for the vibration to emanate okay so yeah okay capricorn i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye